Liz, we're here. What's going on with Whitney? I tried to stop her, but she won't listen to reason. About what? See for yourself. drinking is all your fault and just how do you figure that because you invited her here to sing in this dump my club is not a dump i run a good clean club here whitney needs a job she needs to be able to support herself she enjoys singing so i hired her how could you do this to your own niece leading her down a road that you know could destroy her eve i asked whitney to stop drinking I begged her to stop before she turned into some kind of boozing, drugged-out skank like you were. But of course, I tried to say it in a way that did not tear you down in front of her. Oh, I just bet you did. You listen to me, Eve. The point is, Whitney told me to back off. And that's why I called you. I assumed that you would have a little more influence over your daughter than I did. But you know what? If you don't want to help her, then don't attack me for caring. <laughs> don't you dare imply that I don't care about my daughter. What in the hell is wrong with you slapping Liz? So what's going on with Whitney? Honey, she's drinking again. <sighs> this is all your fault. You passed on your drunken horn ways to our daughter. Why don't you stick to coaching high school sports, a geneticist you are not? Shut the hell up and leave her alone. Julie, you don't have to defend me. It certainly is my fault. Some of the behaviors that have led to this. That's why I called Eve, honey. To try and help my future daughter. I should have known better. Why do you always have to make this about you, Liz? Our focus should be on Whitney. Now, we, this is not the first time that we've seen her, her sing and drink. And I'm very worried that this is becoming a habit. Well, you should know. Because you're the queen of the drunken floozies. Tizzy, be careful. She may try to kill you next time. 